Hi, I'm Kamdesh Ravlani, Certified Scrum Trainer and today we are talking about release planning in a product development context. What's the traditional approach to planning a release? Let's take an example of a project that starts on January 1 and ends by the end of December. Here you try to identify the scope and fix up the requirements in the beginning. Try to execute it and deliver to the time and the budget that you have planned. Uh, however, we know in a complex environment, things change. Your requirements change, your customers' needs change, even the market, the competition, the technology changes. Hence, what happens in reality? You arrive here at end of October and you say, guys, hey, we are out of all the budget and we need more time. Doesn't really work. Now that you realize that we are working in a complex environment where things keep changing, uh, let's say you're applying Scrum. Your stakeholders, your finance team, or your clients who still need this information. How would you do this uh, when you're applying Scrum? We say instead of this approach, um, we fix up the budget and the time while keeping the scope variable. Let's say you are given a budget of $2 million, a fixed cost, and the time. So you have a seven member team and you work in two week sprints. Based on this information, then it costs $100,000 per sprint to engage this team. Based on a $2 million budget, you know that you can retain this team for about 20 sprints, which gives you from January 1, about 40 weeks time. Knowing your $2 million budget and 40 weeks time, keeping both of these fixed, you keep your scope variable. Here, a product owner owns the ordering of the product backlog items. So when the requirements change, we don't say no. We welcome the change in the requirements. The market change, no problem. We are flexible and we can adapt to the changing market. Product owner identifies these PBIs and orders them up and ensures that the development team is always working on the highest value item. So keeping your budget fixed and your time fixed, keep your scope variable and promise that we will always work on the highest value items. While you are working on the highest value items, you are also accepting the change, you are adapting to the market conditions, customer needs, things which are at the end of the product backlog may or may not be implemented because you keep accepting the change. Having this understanding in mind, uh, you could use this information to create a release plan working in a scrum environment. In summary, what we are saying that if you work in a complex environment where your customer requirements keep changing and all of these changes could not be planned or known upfront, how do you plan your release is by fixing up your budget, fixing up your time and keeping your scope variable. By keeping your scope variable, you are open to accept the changes, uh, hence you stay adaptable and you can keep delivering requirements, the needs of your customer that are most current and highest ROI for your organization. Would your customer and the organization benefit from it? Let me know in comments. Thank you.